so today we're doing a little walking at some park. Of course, we got Darian behind me, and we are going to review the 7.5 Layawa lens. Start off with vlogging wise, as you can see, it's super wide. Yep, you don't have to stretch so far for it. No, I don't have to. I maybe can. Two uh, people, maybe even three people in the shot. You can clearly see my hand behind you. That means I don't have to extend like all other closer lens. Yeah, it's closer to my body, so my arm isn't going to be as tired or as quickly as it would be. And it's super light, so that's a one plus, one great plus for this lens. Yeah, it's a, it's a little bit cloudy. It's drizzling right now. So hopefully it doesn't get any worse because this lens isn't weather resistant. On another note, that this lens, it's, it's uh, manual, it's all manual. So you don't get auto focusing on this guy, which we're just gonna do daylight because we're gonna do a second part which focus on low light and nighttime shooting. So I'm gonna separate off this section just to be daylight. We're gonna be shooting around this park and see what we can get. I'll be using the Xeon Crane and trying to get some nice scenery with this lens and see what I can do with it. It's not gonna be too, I would say too technical because there's already other reviews about how, when it's sharpest, when it's not sharpest. So I just wanna see what I can do with this lens and see if it's useful in the future. Let me see how stable it is. Walking. I need to refocus there we go so yeah that's one thing that's um, a con is that if you're shooting vlogging and, and if you're shooting something else you want to reset the focus to yourself since you are closer and not far so you can't really set to infinity and have everything in focus when you're vlogging so next up we are going to try to see if we can get some depth of field with this guy and possibly try to do some portraits. I know it's gonna be very close, so I wanna test out how it would look like. So I'm at 5.6, f5.6, and you can see I am really close to the sleeve. And you can get some depth of field, but you're just gonna be really close. So let me try to get some more depth of field or even more of a blurry background by switching it to f2. And I'm gonna lower my shutter speed and that looks good right there. So yeah, you can get a nice blurry background with this lens. It's just not gonna happen in a lot of situations because you're gonna be awkwardly close, especially when, you're, uh, when you wanna take pictures or videos of people. You're not gonna get too much. I don't think they would like you to be this close, but just for example, I'm gonna try it out anyways. So I'm gonna use Darien and see how close we can get to him. As you can see, being this close, you, you would get a good medium shot. You can see down to his waist. But if you get any closer, of course you need to refocus. And it's gonna look very, really weird. It's like kind of distorted. Doesn't look too natural. And since I'm at f5.6, you won't get that blurry background. But let's try it with f2 and see if we can get down to get, yep, there you go, you, you do get some blurry background, but of course it's not as pleasing when you're this close to a human subject. So since we got that stuff out the way, we're going to use the Xeon Crane, pop it on this GH4 with the lens to see how it looks like. So we're gonna keep the same settings, um, sort of the same settings actually. We're gonna keep it with F5.6 and with infinite focus.
is a really lightweight lens, so it doesn't weigh you down. You can throw it in your bag and travel around with it. And you can throw it on your gimbal, and it doesn't like really weigh you down. So again, super light. I got the lightweight version, so it's even lighter. In terms of depth of field, you can get it. You just gotta get really close to your subject. And this thing, you can actually take the hood off and get some threads on it. I think it's 46 millimeters, I think. Um, so you can put polarizers, you can put ND filters on this guy, which is great because not all, all lenses like this can get it. Part two, we will do a low light video where we will use this kind of like the stra same structure as this video where we start off with vlogging wise and then we're gonna use it on a gimbal. Mainly we're gonna focus on being in the city. So we'll see how that works, how this lens works in low light. And I'll see you guys next time.